also super excited that our hockey team just brought home the national championship title. That game was crazy. I was literally having a Bobcat breakdown. Did somebody say Bobcat breakdown? I'm literally a producer for that show. I would love to talk to you guys about the game. For sure. All right, so let's talk statistics. Oh my God, did you see the un Ambition Unleashed commercial they had between periods? My friend was in that, she looked so ugly. Well, that's, that's, that's kind of rude. Uh, what about the, the penalty during... Oh my god, Rachel. Or when the ref ate shit when he scored, uh, scored in overtime. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, okay, well, the ref actually fractured his neck, so it's, it's kind of sad. Uh, but what about that signing deal? Or when with... the students jumped into Hep Creek. Oh, that was such a bonding moment for underclassmen. They, they jumped into Hep Creek? Yeah, and you would have already known, known that if you had came to our Tuesday meetings. It was also on Barstool. Oh my god, did you buy the merch yet from Barstool? Uh, they had really cool t-shirts. Actually, I haven't really gotten around to it yet. Actually, she was talking to me. Uh, and yes, I spent like $125. Okay, guys, I'm done. I, I, you guys don't even care about the game, you know? I think someone else is about to have a Bobcat breakdown. No, I'm just not going to stand here and continue to get interrupted live from the piazza. Jamie Manley, Charlie Novera, Grace Parisi, Jeff Fish, Aaron Russell. Rachel McKenna, Michael Katz Flynn, Michael Rada, Anthony Guadagna, Jack Gatta, Sean Belutkovich, Aiden Flagg, Luca Dorenzo, Michael Hanley. Shameless plug, you know what I'm saying? Follow us. That sounds great. I'm gonna follow you guys right now. Yeah, me too. Phone. Yeah, you should. Well, thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, well we asked our lovely audience last semester if they could follow us, but it didn't really go well. Jeff, a cast member, there he is, kind of freaked out and harassed people in the crowd to follow us. That's awful. Some people, man. Yeah, and he actually was suspended, and I hear he's lost his mind, but thankfully we don't have to worry about him doing it again. Ever. All right, everyone, take your phones out. Follow us right now. Cue you tonight on Instagram, okay? Everyone, everyone take out your phone. Follow us, please. Please and thank you for, for Jeff Fish. Do it before he... Before okay, you're good. All right. Hmm. Well, Jack? Jeff? Jeff or whoa, Jeff? Whoa, get back on. up whoa, here. Whoa, Sorry, you distracted whoa. me. Can you get back up here? You're scaring the audience. We since, already... Since when do I look like Jack? Um, that's a secret. Okay. Twins. But yeah, you shouldn't really be getting up all in their faces. 
because we want them to like us. Well, I mean, it's embarrassing that we only have 684 followers, so... Well, I guess go ahead and do your thing. Thank you, thank you. And be nice, please. Every, everybody, please. everybody following us? All right, well, maybe you should just come back up here. You're not doing a really good job. You're not really broadcasting for us. Okay, so, guys, a little help. Poppins, yeah, that's, Alex, that's, can you let's get, you back get them off? Okay. I mean, I, I can try no, again. No, 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 I can no, no, try no, no, again. No, 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 no. Well, and with that, it's time that we watch one and the one and only the spitting image of his father, Jesus Christ, take on the Easter Bunny. Stay in tune. Two of the biggest staples of spring holiday head to head. The tension between our favorite furry creature and Jesus Christ broke the internet for months for their impending fight for the WWJD. Now, we are going to learn about their past and future before the bloodbath later on tonight. The nights leading up to the fight are definitely the worst part. I know both of them are expecting one of them to not come out alive. See, the thing is, is I didn't want to fight the guy in the first place, but he was asking for it. And yeah, I know everyone's like, oh Jesus, aren't you about forgiveness? No, f that. He knew what he was doing. I mean, yeah, he's a great guy, but his mom, total no, voyage. No, keep your mom's name out your f***ing mouth. I don't want to hear shit from you about calm, my mom. Calm down. No, I'm not right, gonna calm down. She was a total voyagin until last night. Okay, Jesus. no. Hey, hey, hey! No, f*** this. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not putting up with him. Jesus. That's how I know she's lying. <sighs> I'm gonna break his neck like a f carrot. body and blood into this fight. I run at speed 12, one for each apostle. You're gonna nail it, Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, no, no! Candy gate, I only ever took pre-workout and a rhino pill. Two months banned my ass. Now just two months later, Easter Bunny's back in the ring, ready to kick some tail. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to see the fight of the year? <laughs> I'm your host, Maria Menunos, and also your ref. Let me hear you make some noise! First up, he's off the roids and hopped up on rage. He leaves eggs and concussions. He's gonna lay his chocolate all over. All right, who wrote this? Hailing all the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Easter Bunny! <laughs> He is the miracle maker. He is the 
father, the son, the certified badass, hailing all the way from almost Maine, Jesus Christ! Waited 40 long days for this. Nobody cares about you. It's my time of the year. Save it for Christmas. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Yeah. Shut my cock. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Could it be? This is the first time ever that Jesus has not risen. It is a legendary moment in history. And we have a... Oh my god, and we have a winner! Oh my god, thanks man. Oh my dad, how does this always happen? That's right! I didn't even have to scuff my sandals. I'll be back right after these three days of commercials. Make sure to check your water bottles because I'm one of the cool deities. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here, he's here. Wait, 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 what? I can't drive. What, why? My. Oh. <laughs>
you guys, class superlatives just dropped. Oh my gosh, no way. I wonder what I got. Hey guys, while you check your phones to see if you're following us on social media, make sure to subscribe to me, Mr. Consent, on YouTube. One million subs and I'll make an OnlyFans. Heck, I'll just do it, even if you don't hit that number. Hi, Mr. Consent here, and I'm doing an awesome Easter challenge with some of my subscribers. Oh my god, it's Mr. Consent! It's Mr. Consent! I love you! I, I love you. don't Mr. remember Consent. giving you consent to me over here! Get in the background! Come on! Ruin the intro. Can't believe it. Our contestants will be competing for this prize, the Golden Egg. We have Mary P, Porter, Marcus, and I forget your name. It's Parker. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be doing three different challenges. And for each challenge, one person is gonna be eliminated. Now for our first challenge, Buddy Impression! Oh, shit! I give you all consent to begin! <laughs> Buddy noises. <laughs> Buddy noises. Buddy noises. <laughs> Buddy noises. Well, that certainly was uh, interesting. Um, yeah, unfortunately, one person is going to be eliminated, and that is Marcus. What? Yeah, you're eliminated. <laughs> How's that? Better luck next time, pal. Yeah, you better run! I don't yeah! know. All right, on to our second challenge. With only three contestants left, we've given them each a spoon, and I'm about to give them an egg. The first to drop it loses. Egg me, Mr. Consent. I don't want to ever hear you say that again. Here's three. All right. All right, are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> I can't hear you! I I can! Go! Go! Hey, hey now, hey, hey now. Okay, okay, hey, this ball. Hey now. Cheat it! One chance, one chance. Cheat it! One chance, no it's not! Cheat! Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay, okay, I can make this work, this still works. No, it doesn't! No, it works, it works, it works! Please, don't squall by me! You lose! Wait, wait, this is my last chance for my boy to kick me out! Yeah, you suck! You consent! <laughs> and now for our third and final challenge, our contestants are gonna have to eat two carrots. Whoever finishes first wins the golden egg! Ready, go! Shoot, faster! Let's go! That's a carrot, not a dick. Did the carrot give you consent to do that? That's not how you eat. There you go. You're a machine! I'm a machine! You're gonna win! Come on! <laughs> Love the dedication! The race is super close, and oh, I think we have I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! Ah, shit! You won! I won! Bro, bro! 
in here probably a test no no consent I don't consent to the I'm sorry it's for the content it's for the content <laughs> oh f you consent Shut up, guys what oh my god oh you consent oh, oh. <laughs> This has got to be a yolk consent. Oh, come on, it was an excellent prank's personal. I'm gonna crack your skull. Don't be so hard boiled about it. I'm gonna scramble you, buddy. As you should, but, um, you know what? I'm let it slide. <laughs> Hitting the <laughs> no, I'm not. But you know what else I'm not kidding about? Look, what? What? I want our oh, audience. white. <laughs> I want our audience to comment, like, and subscribe to the Mr. Consent channel. Welcome back to Gossip with Grace, everybody. Um, I don't have my blanket with me because it's hot as balls out, and it's hot in here. But today, I have your book club with me, so can we get a round of applause for them, please? And we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing a little game today. Um, I don't have a title for it, I'm gonna be completely honest, but I'm gonna basically be asking Alex and Poppins some juicy questions, and they can answer or not, but if they wanna keep their mouth shut, they're just gonna have to eat hot sauce instead. So I'm gonna ask Poppins to take a spoon in, Alex. Okay. And then we'll get right into it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my first, I'm gonna also do it on my phone, I'm sorry, I did not have cards prepared. Wow, but really unprofessional of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You should be. My first question is for Poppins, okay. and it is, what is the name of the last person that slid into your DMs or that you slid into their DMs? <laughs> There's just too many to count, I don't know. Um, I'll take the hot sauce, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit, we'll start, oh, we'll start easy. I didn't even get the soup. <laughs> I wish you guys oh, had I water. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay, my next question is for Alex. Alex, what is the biggest secret you've kept from your parents? I don't even know. I have to think about <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll give you less. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was not that bad. Okay, Poppins. Okay. Let me read your last text message. That I sent or I got? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I check my phone first? <laughs> <laughs> Does the Quinnipiac and I Discord count? No. Damn it. Um. <laughs> Three seconds to okay. decide. Okay, okay. One. Okay, okay, okay. I said okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of me with the he's risen shirt. <laughs> Fair. I think this was taken literally two seconds ago. Probably. So you got lucky. <laughs> Alex, what is the most embarrassing thing you've been caught doing? I don't even, like genuinely, I got right? nothing. Oh my God, no, I think literally I'm all sorry, fucking I'm dead. sorry. Oh my God, no, it's allergies. Literally, it's been all day. <laughs> Yeah, it's allergies. What? Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't freaking know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I literally have nothing else. I, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Stop <laughs> drinking water in front of me. <laughs> just ask the question. Poppins. Mm -hmm. oh Who is the least funny person in Quinnipiac tonight? Okay. <laughs> so the head writer is so. <laughs> what? Um. What was that? I, I don't think there is a least funny. You know, they gotta audition. They gotta be somewhat funny. You know. Are you sure. I'm like pretty positive. Are you sure? Yeah, I just really don't want to insult your feelings again. <laughs> okay. But like honestly, Vada. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're safe. Okay. Alex. Alrighty. <laughs> this is the last question. Oh God. What was the worst club president you've had to deal with as yearbook club member? I only had one besides me. No, no, no. Like, no, you like have what to reach club? out to stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got to take the hot sauce for that one. <laughs> Big one. Oh, God. Yeah, I deserve this. <laughs> God. And that is all the time we have. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we will be right back after these quick messages. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Jules, spot on this last one. Uh, there it is. He's gone with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. I know what you're thinking. I need a job. I need a new career. Well, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. After high school, I didn't have a plan. I just wanted to start working. I got laid off twice. But you got to keep going. You just need the right skills. Find an apprenticeship. I found a two-year IT program. I found a medical course online. I'm now a consultant in the tech space. You have more options than you think. You can do this. You will find something. You will find something new. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Guys, the next round of superlatives oh. just came out. I'm going to call Babina because she's not here. I'm coming! I'm coming, I'm coming! Babina, you mother guess what you got? I want to see what I won! <laughs> okay, perfect. Me next. <sighs> oh, god damn it, not again. Uh, I'm done. Idiot! Classic. Welcome back, everyone, and welcome to the game called Change. Anthony is going to give us our prompt, which will be told to the audience and displayed for you guys for use at home. <laughs> at any time, Anthony can say the word change, which will make us have to change what we just said until he stops saying change. This is just for fun to see how our cast can operate on the fly. So your prompt is discussing 
whether SpongeBob is a cinematic masterpiece or not? Mm. Well, that, that's a great question because it is the greatest cinematic masterpiece, sitcom masterpiece of all time. Absolutely. Would you also agree? Absolutely. I mean, he said cinematic masterpiece, so I'm assuming he means the great 2004 movie. I mean, even those pirates well, in the beginning. Well, it's the trilogy. The, well, 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 I'm seeing some hand movements over here. <laughs> so, so um, um, I've actually never seen SpongeBob, Same. any kind of it. Um, I have actually watched SpongeBob every single day of my every life. Single, On my deathbed, I will watch SpongeBob. Well, you're here now, so. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Anyway, SpongeBob. Favorite, favorite episode. I don't know if I believe you. Favorite episode. Favorite episode? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I can say the name of that episode. Shame. Mm. Um, I think it's probably Patrick Starr. Um, I, I said but, the episode. But, the no, no. That's a character. No, hold on. Patrick Starr's autobiography. Wait, Shame. time out. Finish the Patrick Starr's. Oh, well, I also don't know if I can say that one. Um, Finish the line. Mayonnaise is a what? Condiment? Change. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see. Um, mayonnaise is a human? Change. <laughs> a trumpet! No. <laughs> a trombone! Oh, wow, wow, wow. A musician? Boom, boom, boom. A player? An instrument is mayonnaise. A player an just instrument. Like you? That, nah. An instrument? Yeah. Is mayonnaise an instrument? And he has like, I must he's like have missed that one. You know, I've watched the Patrick Starr biography way too many times. I don't know if I believe you, Aaron Russell. Change. I believe you too much, Aaron Russell. I do not believe it. I, you, not you got me. You got me. I just, the charisma. You uh, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? T tell me if you know what this line is from. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you, you and, and me. me. I thought he served hamburgers. Well, you're right, but what episode? What episode you know, was that line? <laughs> Krusty yeah, Krab pizza, too. you know? Is it? <laughs> it's not just a boulder. It's a rock! Hey, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> what episode is that from? Yeah. Episode number? Not Which number, season. Say? Number. Day. Season? Number day? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Even I don't know that, but... Okay. Gosh, you know, I'd have to go for, like, I don't know, April 20th? I don't Change. know. I'd have to go for um, probably December 25th. I think, oh wait, which is a good day, because isn't that the day that Jesus won the, the boxing match? He won, yeah, won the boxing oh. match. He has risen. Change. Yes, <laughs> yes. He was not risen. It was actually <laughs> three, uh, three episodes later he's risen. I mean, that's a good thing. You yeah. catch I didn't that on catch TV. that one. I didn't catch yeah. that one. That's a shame. It you is know? a shame. Well, now that we know he has risen, Yes. Yeah. We should yeah. rise off the stage. Should I'm sorry. We, we should what? OK, yeah, 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 I'm not off the stage. No, no. Uh -uh. Yeah. That has been our Change Improv. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please talk to the producers and not us. Now, watch how friends treat a Get Well Soon card as a yearbook signing. Oh, man, I'm, I'm really going to miss Jess. I know. The end of the year came so quickly. I don't know what we're going to do without her. Tommy gave me her yearbook to sign so we can send her off with some heartfelt words. Dear Jess, this has been a wild and crazy ride. I don't know how I'm going to get through gym class every day without seeing you run the mile. You always knew how to shake me to my core. I guess I just wanted to thank you for always being there for me when I was down. Like that one time you caught me cleaning my ears and sniffing the remnants LOL? That was so funny. I know Dartmouth ain't ready for this, Chica. You're going to kill it. Love, David. That was so goddamn endearing, David. I hope my farewell's as good as yours is. Sup, slut. I think we both know it's time you graduate, considering you can cut our sexual tension with a fork. And since we're grown now, I wanted to let you know that all those times when we were younger, it wasn't my mom saying I couldn't hang out with you, it was me. I digress. I was wondering if before you leave, you could share one kiss. A kiss so good, it was as if you were my husband leaving for war. I'm horny. Love, Topher. Topher. I think she'll totally get the message. I, I'm so bad at this stuff, I, I don't even know what I'd write. James, just just think from here. My tip. What? 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 You know what? Don't worry about it. I got water pulled in an hour. Fine, whatever. So what'd you write? Oh, nothing. I, I just wrote from the heart, like you said. It's weirdly really small for a yearbook. Maybe Tommy gave us the signing sheet or something. Oh my god. Is this from James, Topher, and David? That's so sweet of them to give me a get well soon card. And sniffing the remnants, LOL? Aw, oh, David. He always had his way with words. I'm horny. 
Topher, you crazy cat. I'm horny too. I wonder what James wrote. I know we've been pretty rocky lately, but I'm sure his goodbye will touch my heart. Dear Jessica, I will keep hate you. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm honestly so glad we're going our separate ways. I've been holding this in longer than you can imagine. Some people say that hate is a strong word, so I'm going to underline it so you really feel it. And I know what you're thinking. This is how you're going to say goodbye? You bet your ass it is. I don't even care anymore. If I ever see your face again around this crazy little town, I will curb stalk the ever-loving shit out of you. Don't show up to graduation, or you'll be sorry. I don't even care if you're the valedictorian. I'll write my own speech on how you're a lazy piece of shit. I bet you're reading this from bed right now, you wallowing <laughs> By the way, it's not me back. We have the hourglass. Love, James. Stop! I didn't know it was a get well soon card. You didn't know I had galactic gonorrhea? I died! I'm sorry, I would have never said those things. Oh, oh, oh. oh god. Oh. Get out of here. That story is that I will never emotionally recover from that. Please, just watch these ads. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20 mile radius. Home sweet home. You aced house hunter. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the soccer. She's on the honor roll. She's just on the table. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. I think it's just vapor with flavor. It won't hurt my kid like cigarettes, right? Vaping is safer than smoking, isn't it? There's really not even that much nicotine in them, right? My kid? My kid? My kid knows it's dangerous. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Meet the scan. A simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you. But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at SavedByTheScan.org. Okay, the last set of superlatives were just posted. <gasps> Checking mine now. version of those little bitches, the Dog Patrol. Yes, here at the Lookout, we do whatever we can to help protect Discover Golf. I mean, we have some of the best dogs on really important law enforcement projects across town. Hey, you, watch out! Woof, woof, and stop! So safe to say, Discover Golf is in pretty good paws. Who let the dogs out? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, yeah, my dog. 
party is on I gotta get my groove on, got my mind I'm gone Do you see the race coming from? All right, dogs. We have another report of an illegal catnip deal in front of Farmer Zumi's last Tuesday. Subject was described as being short, having a tail, and also dog fur. This description only fits former drug dog turned drug lord, Madison. We've actually been following Madison for quite some time now in a sting operation. Bolt, I'm gonna need you to track down the location of Madison. Already got him. Shut the f up. Stupid. Bitch. Anyway, Bolt, I'm gonna need you to track down the location of Madison for the stakeout. We're ready for action, driver, sir. Air, I need you to prep the helicopter. Let's take to the sky or whatever. Apollo, I need you to go to my house, clean out my garbage disposal. Driver, I really think I have more to offer the squad. Burlington, you just sit there and look pretty. Sick! And Uma, go get the... Never mind. All right, you mutts, go f***ing do something. We've actually been following Madison for quite some time now in a sting operation. Yeah, no, I know I know what I'm doing. The package for Langston and Jamina is going to ship out in like 36 minutes ago, okay? So like, what should we do? You think I can know? Should I go tackle her or something? With no other plan? You're the police dog. Don't, don't you have like a gun or something? No, not after what happened. We've actually been following Madison for quite some time now in a sting operation. No, I'm not gonna take this shit from you. Get off my back. No. Love you too, Mom. Okay, now the lights are off. Let's make our move. But the lights inside are on. Okay, we need to work before we got to go. Hey, hey, Get on the ground! We know about the catnip! We know about you, you son of a bitch! What catnip? We've been following you for quite some time now on a sting operation. A sting what? operation, bitch! Yeah! What? You're surrounded! We got you now! Try to run, Madison! Try it, bitch! Who the f is Madison? I've had enough! Who the dude is the official internet? There was an incident. What? We did it! <laughs> So yeah, the real Madison was about three towns over in front of a 7-Eleven. This is a photo of the real Madison. The person we caught was actually a border collie named Tyler Swanson. She was new to town, new to Discover Golf, and just was just trying to get home. I made a serious lapse in judgment. I'm only here to apologize. I don't expect you to forgive me. Uh, I'm just so sorry. Great job, Pops. Another day saved. I just hope Driver isn't too worried. That's all for this episode of Quinnipiac Tonight. We've been your host, The Summit Yearbook. Whether you came out tonight or you're watching online, thank you for spending your Thursday night with us and bringing the show to life. And another big thanks to the cast, crew, and writers for putting on a phenomenal show. Thank you for my friends in the audience, my mom, dad, and grandma at home. Thank you to my friends and dad. Please don't talk about this on Facebook. <laughs> don't, don't forget to follow us on social media. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at QUTonight. Make sure to subscribe to Q30 TV on YouTube as well. We'll see you again for our last show on April 27th, right here back in the Piazza. Thank you for laughing with us. Have, Have a great, great night, night everyone! everyone.